Hello everyone, this is Tails 9 and today I'm gonna play Return of the Invaders, which actually works out as a later sequel to the famous Space Invaders. But being made in 1985, this game was pretty darn old fashioned by this point, so I imagine it didn't garner much attention, but it still is kind of fun. And it gives a bit more variety than the original at least. Based on the way enemies move, and the fact there are um, some levels have enemies that can really reflect your shots in a very evil way. In some levels, the invaders never seem to be able to drop down, like here, where they just keep moving in circles. There's also challenging stages and such. Oh, okay, you can still shoot down bullets in this, that's nice. There we go. Now, here's level two. You see those green guys within the corners? Yeah, if you shoot the side of them, they will send your shots straight down at you, which will instantly kill you, basically. Also, you shoot much faster than you did in the original game. So it tries to st stick with the times, even if it had no chance against games like Section Z or Gradius. Oh, and UFOs can actually shoot at you, I kind of forgot about that detail. Some of them can give you some slight power-ups, too. Yeah, did you see that? The way they reflect your shots are pure evil! Oh, I got him. And he almost got me. Oh, that was close. Alright, level 3. Yay. Oh, look! The bases are moving. Isn't that fun? Now you can accidentally shoot into them constantly! I need to get rid of this edge part right here. What the heck? They went down so much. Alright, let's try and take care of some of the enemies on the left side. Oh my gosh, I... The bases are just plain annoying in this one. Well, there we go. I'm gaining some points. I think first one up is at 30,000. There we go. I think the music sounds a little too... Bright for something like this, shall we say? Okay, there we go. I think in this level, the invaders just go straight down, so... Ah, I hate it when they do that. Oh my gosh, it's so annoying. Oh, you stupid blue bullets. I don't like you at all. Oh, I got reflected. Pity. Now I have to try more times! There's only two extra lives in this game, really. The amount of points bouncing enemies give you when you kill them is based on how close they are to you. If you get them when they're just about to ram into you, you get a massive 1600. Uh... Like so. All right, next stage. Oh! And that one was kind of close to me, so I got 800 instead. All right, there. The more difficult guys are dealt with. Alright, well that UFO didn't give me anything but points. But it doesn't always work out that way, so... Stop missing. I said stop missing! Ah, despite being better at shooting things in this one compared to earlier games, 
it can still be kind of hard to actually kill these things. I hate it when the bases move. In this game, bases sometimes feel more like an annoyance than an actual help. I think in this stage, they're actually trying to be a nuisance. Alright, let's take care of these guys far off on the edge. Ooh, gimme. There we go, now I can shoot larger shots and maybe it'll be easier to kill these guys. Ah, uh, yeah. They're easier targets now. See, power ups! I wonder if we can destroy blue shots. What? What's that? An extra life! Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, this is kind of scary now. Okay, there we go. When's the challenging stage? I don't even remember. Oh, whoa. These ones drop really far. Ugh. The little addition of variety like this is very welcome to keep this from just feeling like a stale sequel. Of At least makes it feel somewhat necessary. I don't really have time to worry about trivial things like points, because despite the amount of lives I have, if they reach the bottom, it's still an instant game over. Oh look, they're going in circles again. Are you serious? They can still reflect my shots with this kind of shot. Perfect. Ah, no. It all goes downhill from here. I know it. So many bullets. Gosh, I don't recall these things ever getting this close in a stage like this. Oh, shoot. Can they actually reach the bottom in these kind of... I just learned something new. Oh, and by the way, that tune always makes me think of the Halloween theme for some reason, when they reach the bottom. I don't know, I just always ex I just always imagine Michael Myers popping up behind me every time that plays. Well, darn it. I have to do it over again. Hooray. <laughs> oh, what just happened? Come on! Ah. Uh, are you... Are you kidding me? Alright, try again. Try not to die. Wow, an extra life! Wait, he just ran off this time, why? Why did he just run off this time, what? Oh, I tried shooting him two times! You know, this, this, this attempt isn't even worth it, just, just, just get me. There. There, I just let you get me this time. Try this again. Do better! Oh. 
Ah, uh, no! S stop shooting, killing, bouncing enemies as soon as they start to. I didn't even know there was one bouncing that time. Are you? Is it trying to tell me I should just end this video early or something? Because this is getting ridiculous. Oh. What, already? Come on, the level's barely been going on. Alright, well, here's level two. Ugh, I hate those things so much. What? Oh, just kill me, I guess. Okay, what did, what did that do? I feel like all that did was make me a bigger target. It doesn't shoot through enemies. I don't shoot any... Or do I? I, I, I don't know. I guess I shoot faster? I don't know. I guess I shoot a little faster, I don't know. You stupid base. Yeah, I guess I shoot faster. Kinda neat, I guess. I'm just gonna stand in place and... <sighs> Never mind. Oh, that one gave me a thousand points. How nice. Alright, things are starting to look up now. Well, they were, but now I can't shoot anything because of these stupid bases. You know what? Let me destroy one entirely. Okay, there we go. Oh, man. I just don't think bases are that good in this game. I guess that... Um, are you kidding me? I can barely sh shoot with these bases here. How in the world was that not centered enough? What the? Ugh. Ugh. Try it again! And I miss, so I'm gonna die, probably. Oh, I didn't. Look at that. How nice. Yeah, I was shooting faster, I think. Ah! I hate those things. Oh, I destroyed the power up. Darn. Uh, 
And of course, that blue bolt screwed me. Of course, it would just go all the way over there like that. Oh, okay, maybe I could get a massive score boost out of this. Oh, I destroyed the power up again. Lovely. <laughs> Why do I keep missing everything now? What the heck? Okay. Hey, I got an idea. It's called shooting good. Maybe I should maybe I should try that. Oh my gosh. You know, I could have sworn this would have been a little easier. I mean I haven't played this in a very long time, but I'm doing worse than I expected to. Okay, extra life at least. Now let have this level screw everything over. Oh, ran straight into me. Perfect. Oh. Stop it. Oh! Look at that. Challenging stage. I'm not sure how that triggered, but whatever. I'm trying to shoot down as much as I can. And of course, not get killed myself. How'd I do? Holy moly! It's a lot of points. I wonder if I can be my high score this time. Okay, try and get rid of... You stupid bases! You are my biggest issue with this game! You know what? Let's just destroy it. There. That's one less thing to worry about. Yeah, I keep getting points, but not power-ups because I keep sh shooting the dead center of it. Okay, stage six. Okay, God, play this one carefully. Oh look, I got an extra life, how nice. Probably won't even be worth it though. Well, oh gosh. Come on. I should have expected something like that actually would have happened. No. Oh, look at that. The sole reason I didn't get through, because those guys had to be in the stage. Ah, and I was so close to being my high score, too. Oh, well. Nothing can end on a high note. Moral of the story. Nothing can end on a high note. I've... I've done enough, I think. That'll do it. That's Return of the Invaders. It, it's still hard. Specifically because of the stupid things that can just reflect your shots. If it wasn't for that, this game probably actually wouldn't be that difficult. That's that. Done playing our game in an hour Saturday. Until then, this has been Tales Phone 109, and have a nice day.